tough loss, of course, tonight. Uh, second set, you seem to find more your game. You are more aggressive. You use more resources. So what was uh, more challenging in, in facing Carlos uh, tonight? And if you could share a bit of the experience that is playing one of the main courts in the world in a night session against him. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely extremely tough today against Carlos. Um, First of all, big credits to him. I think he's playing some great tennis, and uh, he's going to be extremely tough to to beat this tournament. I think he's playing very, very confidently, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I gave it all I had today. Um, second set, could have probably had it. I uh, had a lot of chances, and obviously it was up, but uh, a little bit of just uh, loss of concentration on the serve, and uh, yeah, I haven't played too much, you know. So it's uh, it's about being in those situations against the top guys. It's it's a little bit different. It's another step forward, and uh, yeah, kind of solidifying and staying on top is uh, not always easy, you know. So you need to you need to have matches, and you need to to play a lot. So um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with with my tournaments. I was definitely not expecting this, and uh, first first of all, to to you know finish healthy and uh, feeling good, uh, playing three matches. The knee held up really well. It's. Uh, yeah, not something I was I was really expecting. So it's uh, it's it's a good feeling. Yeah, because you mentioned that uh, historically you didn't have good results here in Holland Garros, but it was the first time you you reached the the third round. So in this sense, how do you see your game progressing on clay? And especially because the other day you you spoke about finding your game, and and in this sense, how do you see your game on clay now? I don't I don't think I ever see my game on clay. To be honest, it's not my favorite surface. So. Uh, I mean, I you know I try to do my best, and obviously I could have some good results on it. But uh, you know, I think uh, like like Daniel said, you know, once when when the tournament is over, it's nice to throw throw all the shoes and every everything on clay in the garbage. So uh, yeah, it's it's good to to kind of move on from it. So moving on from it, <laughs> uh, talking about the transition now for grass uh, grass season, you mentioned your knee that held up really well. So how are you feeling physically, especially because we know this transition can be very aggressive to the body, right? For sure, exactly. And uh, to be honest, I mean, you know, I was getting advice saying that, uh, you know, maybe hopefully I should come back for Wimbledon. So the fact that I'm here today, you know, playing third round of a major so so quickly after Madrid, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a miracle. And uh, to, to first of all, to feel healthy, it's it's huge. So the main priority is to, to try to maintain that, try to keep that. And like you said, on the grass, it's uh, it's tough, it's dangerous. You know, you can slip a lot. It's a tough surface, but uh, it's one that I love to play on. I have so much fun to to play on that on those courts, and uh, yeah, hopefully I could just stay healthy and try to do some damage.